we are golden. <laughs> Okay. Um, I guess I'll start so I, with... I guess I need to press continue. There. All right. <laughs> can you hear I'll... me better now? Yeah, I, I can hear I you. Okay. Um, I guess I'll start with your introduction. Everyone, this is the great Linda Young. Hello. Hi, everyone. <laughs> as you know, as Lord Frieza. <laughs> she sells back scratchers. <laughs> Yeah, backstretch. I should start selling them, right? Yeah, just you, you'll just have to find like green ones and paint them. And <laughs> any, anyway, I guess I'll start with the questions. Um, how did you get the part of Frieza? I got the part because one of my friends called me up and told me there was an open audition and um wanted me to go with her. And I wasn't going to at first because it was in Fort Worth and I was doing something else. And it wasn't something my agent called me for. And I was like, oh, I don't know, Patty. But she talked me into it. And that's how I ended up going to the audition. And you know what? Um, that was my friend Patty and she passed away from COVID. And um, this would have been her birthday today. I'm so sorry to hear that. I know. Um, she prayers. was a really neat lady. She was a very neat lady. And I'm, I'm, I guess she's watching right now. <laughs> oh, I, so anyway, sure. so we went to the open audition and then we had to try imitate different voices because it was from the ocean dub. We had to Im imitate their voices and then go into the little booth and record what we, you know, on the lines we were imitating. And that's how I ended up getting Freezer. Because oh, yeah. I could do the horse voice. I, I, I personally, you're my favorite Freezer. Oh, uh, thanks. And I, I like all the Freezers. It was so much fun when we did that night before Christmas reading together. Oh, all yeah. The Freezers. Even Team Four Star Freezer, Little Creebo was there. Yes, yes, yes. That was, that, that was really fun. I watched it. That was awesome. What, what's your favorite Frieza line? You know what? I don't really have any favorite ones. But um, when I go back or I see something someone sends me, I remember it. I like some of those lines. But I have memorable lines, but I don't think I have a favorite. But I had one that I always um, used to get the voice. Um, and it was, yo, mindless triple is beginning to bore. Any last words before you go the way of the dodo? And that's not a real common line, but that's the line I remembered to always get the voice in my head. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> I think my uh, favorite Frieza line, and there's probably a lot of them, but it's a simple line, is bang. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a good one. Just, bang. I, You're right, I that love, is a good one. That's, I love that line. <laughs> <laughs> in fact um i did a little intro video for um bam they he does um statues and and he has a little youtube program and at the end of his i went bam instead of bang so i guess i remembered that <laughs> uh, That's did, Fre bang. did frieza ever like stress your voice out any no not very often. Um, one time I was in there for seven hours, oh but God. I was really okay the next day. Um, now when I had to sing too, sometimes if I had to do Frieza's voice and then sing and then do Frieza's voice again, that could be kind of hard. But like I said before, the only time I really got forced was the time that and couldn't record was the time there was a reporter there to do a story on Funimation. And so I was in the story that I lost my voice. Ah! <laughs> of all the times, you know, so. I was always wondering on uh, Dragon Ball Kai, um, why, were, why did uh, Chris take your spot as Frieza? I was just curious. Well, I, I think Chris Savitt said that they had always wanted a man to do the part. Um, they had a woman at first because since the ocean dub had a woman and they wanted the transition to be smooth 
where people might not notice they changed all the characters. But I think Chris said he always envisioned a man doing the part like in Japan, you know, like Mr. Nakayo. And um, that's the main reason. And then it, at first, I think he couldn't find anybody. And then he found Chris. And Chris is really good. I really like Chris. Chris and yeah. I are friends. Oh, yeah, he's great. I, I like his Frieza, too, a lot. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, I did notice on, like, very first episode of Kai, they did use your laugh for it, though. Yes, because I first came in and started doing it. And then, um, but apparently, like I said, they were looking for a man but didn't find one. So if they hadn't found one, then I was going to still be Frieza. But when then they did find someone that reminded them more of what oh what they envisioned what I think Chris and Justin what they envisioned then um, they just wanted to make that change and I've been freezer for 10 years which you know is really an honor when I think about it now I, uh, oh it just killed me at first I'm not kidding you it it like at first made me kind of upset and then made me cry and devastated me because Frieza was so much a part of me I mean, really, but then, you know, after a day or so, I was like, you know, I, I understood more. I, my emotions were taking over at first. And then I was like, yeah, I can understand. They want to take it in a new direction. I could understand that. Uh, what, is, what was some of your like favorite of the ad lib lines that Frieza would put in? Oh, there were so you, many that... I mean, well, of course, everyone likes Pop Goes the Weasel. I, I love and, that one. <laughs> and Ride em, Cowboy. And um, You're In For a Bumpy Ride. And I don't know. There were so many of them. But I think you already know mine, uh, The Back Scratcher. I, yeah, I know yours, The Back Scratcher. <laughs> you know, you what's the total line of that again? Um, he, he rips he off uses... Nail's arm and he throws it down and he says, here, you can use it as a back scratcher. That's and right. Here, you can use this as a back scratcher. <laughs> oh, yeah. See, I always felt the original uh, first Funimation dub had so much more personality than the Kai dub. I mean, the Kai dub is good, but I just felt the original just had a lot more personality. It felt like it you guys did. were having fun. It had kind of that hokey humor sometimes, which makes it different than so many other it doesn't make it just like every other anime you know it does it gives it personality like you said yeah uh what are your thoughts on genkai from yu yu Hakusho? oh i love genkai yeah. and you know genkai is like all of a sudden getting really popular again and i i hope they make a um funko pop of her soon because so many people are getting prints now and and there's a real nice group called Yu Yu Hakusho group and they're all wanting Genkai prints and and um so I've been sending those out and I found out that so many people Genkai was one of their favorite characters ever and helped them through a lot of hard times with Genkai's advice because Genkai you know had a lot of good advice yet she had that sense of humor too you know that quirky sense of humor which I think I kind of have naturally too. So with Frieza and Genkai, they both had that. But with free with Frieza's, it was mean and like a bully. But with Genkai, it's coming from a good heart. Yeah. Yeah, she's a teacher. She's trying to teach. So. Right. Yeah. I, personally, I liked. Uh, did you do the younger Genkai voice too? Yes. Yes. Okay, I've always wondered that. I mean, I never looked it up, so I was always curious. Like, wow the you make her sound so different <laughs> I know. um well before i did frieza i actually did a lot of younger kid kind of voices and that kind of thing and um but when i did frieza of course everyone thought i have a low, low um husky voice or something but i don't really have i put the husky that's called acting <laughs> I think one voice that actually did surprise me was I can't remember her name. She's a filler character, Pizza or Pizza from oh, uh, Pizza, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah, that's a high voice, Mister Satan, Mister Satan. 
that that was great. Uh, I found all her comedic lines in there were fantastic. In that. Yeah, she had some great comedy lines too, didn't she? I, was I like, know. I have a stomachache. Oh, well, I've got medicine. Put it away. <laughs> yes. Uh. And then super when she had to, she came out in that strange big costume or something. You see, I haven't seen all of Super. Oh, well, there's this part where she comes out in this costume. It's, it's pretty hilarious. I'll, I'll actually have to look through that. <laughs> she's she is she's a little character, but she's funny. Uh, what are your thoughts on Fasha from you know DBZ? Well, when I first did Fasha, I wasn't really sure what her character was. I was kind of pulled into the booth, but later when I got to do the um, the game, yeah, I, that's when that's when I put her voice more like I would like it. So the voice is different on the game than the show, you know? Oh, yeah. And I like the game voice. I like the game voice better. I noticed that, like, uh, the movie was redubbed later because uh, when Sony did Bart, or I don't know if I pronounced his name, Sonny did Bardock, uh, he first did it and he sounded a lot like Krillin. And then the second time he did it, he made him voice more gruffer. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I noticed that with Fasha too. I was like, sounds a little different. <laughs> I bought the yes. remastered remastered version. I was confused. I'm like, this isn't the dub that I watched, is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because um, yeah, Fasha. I was like, wait a minute, that doesn't sound so good. Let me try something else. So um, I was also thinking, is there any like top five favorite characters you have? You mean of all animes or? Yeah, of or all Dragon Ball of all, Z. Of all the characters you voiced. Of oh, all of all the ones I voiced. Of course, Genkai, of course, Frieza. And I like Poorly Yusuka. Oh, and yeah. I liked this landlady from Double Decker. Um, she was really funny. And um, I liked um, Baba, kind of. Baba's crazy. Baba's I love fun. Baba. Yeah, yeah. And um, I know there was some, there was one crazy character I played in Shiki or something like that. But of course I like Pisa too, even though that's a little part, I like her little lines and I like her voice. I like her voice. Well, her and Mr. Satan had a lot of chemistry. Yes, I know we were saying we should do a show on Mr. Satan and Pisa. <laughs> That, I was hoping, she, I was disappointed when she didn't come back in the Majin Buu arc. Yeah, I know. Um, how did you get into voice acting? Okay, well, I was always in acting. It, since I was a kid, I was writing plays, you know, for the neighborhood and putting on shows and started doing things at school. And I was always in the choirs and I was taking piano and singing and, and, um, then as I went to college for theater arts and communications, and I was in a bunch of stuff in high school and then in college. And, and then um, I started working in radio later and wrote the copy plus voiced a bunch of, um, you know, different commercials. And eventually I got an agent and started doing all sorts of things. So that's basically it. Oh, that sounds actually like you've been in it for a while then. Oh, yeah, for a long time. It doesn't seem like that long, but it's been a long time. I mean, just just think, just Dragon Ball Z was a long time ago. You know oh, what yeah. I mean? Now that makes me feel old when you say it like that. <laughs> it makes you old. What do you think it makes me? Whoa. But I, it's, it's unbelievable it was that long ago to me. It doesn't seem that long ago. No, it doesn't. I remember when I was a little kid and I would be like uh, getting off the bus at school. And I'm like, oh boy, it's coming on. <laughs> Turn on me. <laughs> That's great. Uh, it, it just feels like, wow, uh, 20, almost 20 years later, it's like, wow, I got old. <laughs> <laughs> 20 years. And then with this pandemic, the years are, gosh, it's like one year just disappeared. Isn't yeah, it? We we didn't really get a 2020. <laughs> yeah. And now 
Mm. Uh, well, hopefully there... things are getting a lot, a little better. Everyone's getting their vaccines and. Oh uh... yeah. I, I actually had COVID for in December for nearly two or three weeks. I was sick as a dog. Oh. <laughs> I felt like. I felt like I was dying. <laughs> oh, really? And wow. And it was because I, I think it was because the place I worked at, so many people would just shop there without a mask. And yeah. you know, it's just yeah, it's just how it is. I know. There's just some people that won't you know, wear a mask. They just don't care. Um no. so uh who do you like better, Frieza or Genkai? I always ask that, and of course I like Genkai better because her heart is better, and um, she's probably more relatable to me, how I, how I might really be, but Frieza was just fun, I mean, <laughs> talk about getting your anger out, talk about feeling like you were in a therapy session, and afterwards you feel really great. Oh. Anytime I did the Frieza voice, I came out of there feeling like, oh, I feel really good. You know, some people feel mean when they do a mean character. I felt great after. <laughs> Was there anyone in uh, the group that you enjoyed working with the most? Well, the thing is, we always work by ourselves. Oh, you mean like the directors and stuff? Yeah. We, don't, we work with the directors, but we don't really <laughs> work with any other actors. Um, all the directors are really neat. Of course, Chris Sabat, when he was directing, he he taught me how to do um, the reaction noises and the the yelling because um, I wasn't really exactly sure how to do that kind of yelling and stuff for enemy. But he said that I learned as well as any man. <laughs> <laughs> That's a compliment. And of course, everyone, I mean, Mike McFarland, he's just really fun to work with and he's so nice. Kyle Phillips. Um, I, I mean, back, oh, some of the directors aren't there anymore. Um, there, was one that, there was one person that I've always wondered about. I, can, I, I can't find him. Um, voice actor named Dale Kelly. He did the narration before Kyle came on and he was Captain Ginyu before Bryce took over. Yeah, I, you know what? I never people ask me about him, but I don't remember ever meeting him. You know, I mean, sometimes we meet. You know, going in and out of the studio, we would meet, or they'd have parties and we'd meet. Um, but I don't remember him. I remember the name, but I don't remember him. I think he did like the. One of his biggest contributors, he did the music for like the first four movies. Oh, he did? Wow. Yeah. He, I think he was a DJ or something when he started, or he worked at a radio station and he had the really? loyalties to like Disturbed and stuff like that. Yeah. And then something went dicey, and then out of nowhere, Kyle came out and he got to be the narrator. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I remember Kyle coming in. I remember meeting Kyle. But also there was um, um <laughs> no, I can't even think of his name. That he was narrating also. Um Bryce? Yeah. Yeah, I know he did the it's a good thing I'm here, the Dragon Ball experts. <laughs> yeah, because I and Bryce, I've done regular commercials with Bryce, you know. Um, I knew Bryce before that because we we worked on um gosh, I think we worked on one uh radio commercial together, Dewey Stevens, that was years ago, it was a wine, but it was played during the Super Bowl. Was, I think it was my first big royal um royalty chick. <laughs> he he I really loved his version of Captain Ginyu. Yeah. Bryce is, he's one of a kind. He, he was such a nice man too. Very nice man. Um, I was also- Of course, Bruce is really good at it too. Bruce does it now. He's oh yeah. He's, I've talked to 
He's a great guy. I've talked to him a lot too. He's great. He is. Um, I was going to say, was there ever any instances where you didn't get along with anybody when you were working with them or at conventions or anything like that? No, I haven't had any. I'm glad I haven't. <laughs> I haven't had any episodes like that. No. Thank oh, goodness. hallelujah. Yeah, I wouldn't. I would probably just kind of back away and just try not to stir anything up if anything like that happened, I guess. Have you ever seen any Frieza cosplayers? Yes. Yes, I have. In fact, we took pictures together. Um, a few that were really, really good. Really. I, I don't know how they can do that. <laughs> I, I don't know how, I'm amazed at all the costumes all the time. Uh, I am, and so is my husband when he comes along. It was like another world, you know, at first. Um, Cause it sort of is, um, sort of a fantasy world, you know? Mm -hmm. And a family, I call it fanimaly. <laughs> That's my word for it. I, I love wordplay, so fanimaly. Um, What's it like when people, you know, come up to you or message you and say, hey, you were a huge part of my childhood? I just, I'm really honored. I feel very good that I could bring them joy or, you know, give them something to look forward to or with Genkai even advice, help people get through things. And that it just, I mean, I've heard stories that have really, really touched my heart. And it makes me know, that's why God had me do those things. You know, those voices, I, there was really a purpose. And uh, that makes me happy. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it sounds like you really did love playing these characters a lot. I, I really do, I, I, I love acting. And I, I think the thing is I've become the character, the way I go about doing any kind of acting, I think I picture myself as that character looking like I'm everything. I, I just picture, it's like I become them. In fact, sometimes if I get home and I've just um, been doing some kind of character, whether it was from a, a play, whether it was from a voice, whatever, I sort of act that way for a while. I sort of talk in, in their phrases, you know, <laughs> I have to kind of get myself out of it. Well, uh... There's a funny instance when I used to work at a wood plant uh, when um, I was in charge. I was the supervisor there for a while, and I actually used the line. They asked, why, why did you uh, why do you tell us what to do? And I said, because I am mighty and you are not. You did. <laughs> I do said, like that line. That is a good line. And uh, <laughs> what did they do? One of the guys who was in the back, he was like, dude, did you just quote Frieza? <laughs> Really? And and I said, well, I'm friends with Frieza on Facebook. And he's like, no, you're not. I said, what's this say right here? Oh, that's funny. Oh. Um, do you, do you know if they actually had to have you guys like redub the Frieza saga at all? I noticed that your voice sounded a little different. Yes. It seems like, you know, it's so long ago now, but it seems like we came in and I think in like oh six. the lines again. Yeah. I think I think it was oh six or oh five. Um, I noticed when I yeah when I, bought, when I bought the remastered sets, I was like, I don't remember Frieza sounding like that. I remember him sounding scarier when he was in that form. <laughs> <laughs> the, yeah, we did do the lines over. Uh huh. I, I noticed that too. Well, because mainly what uh, drew my attention to it was because I remembered. Chris, he sounded a lot like Brian Drummond uh, when I first watched it on TV. And, uh, and then I remember the thing that I remember the most when I was re-watching it when I was about 17, um, when Frieza transformed into the third form, when I was younger and watched it, the voice that they used for you in the third form scared me. I, it was yes, it was distorted and really creepy. Yes, it was. <laughs> And then when I, uh, I never forgot the voice. And then when I uh, was watching the remaster set, I was like, 
they changed it. I said, I know they did. <laughs> I said, because that voice gave me nightmares. I was eight years old. I remember. Oh, no. I'm sorry I gave you nightmares. <laughs> well, I, I, uh, not to insult uh, Chris Ayers or anything, but I like how your voice sounds more like it's otherworldly when you play Frieza. Like, it's not human. No offense. Like an alien. Yes. Like an alien, yeah. Because it almost seemed like Frieza was an alien. You know what I mean? I think he was. I I think so. Because that's kind of what I thought, you know? I think one of my favorite Frieza lines in the games is just where he laughs and he says, no more monkeys. (laughs) (laughs) When Frieza likes to use that word monkeys. (laughs) Oh, and everyone, I mean, at cons and stuff, everyone wants me to call him a monkey, you know? <laughs> uh, really? <laughs> or, or in Get Guy, everyone wants me to call him a dimwit or a moron. Yeah, I, <laughs> or a slacker. Uh, a slacker. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I, I will say that uh, when she died in Yu Yu Hakusho, spoilers, everybody, when she died in Yu Yu Hakusho the, against a girl, I will say that I shed a tear. <laughs> Yeah, that was sad. I mean, that hit me right there in the fields. I was uh, like, oh. Yeah. And my my uh, friend, well, he was over at the house watching it with me. His name was Parker. And he was like, dude, are you crying? I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny. My, my, dad, uh, my dad was always, from the time I was a little kid, just would brag to people that I could do voices and I could sing and all this. But when he, he would visit, he would watch Yu Yu Hakusho and he really liked that show. He, he liked it. He just said, it's really got these characters. He, he enjoyed watching it. You know, it was, it was harder to watch Dragon Ball Z. My husband uh, probably could only watch Dragon Ball Z for five minutes. He said they're going like this. Mm, mm, <laughs> mm, mwah, mwah. Oh, and then look uh, how popular it got. Hmm. Oh, I'm glad you just said five minutes because that's a pivotal point right there. <laughs> yeah, it is, right? The yeah, center view, yeah. center yeah, view is know, only five really, minutes. Really, that's what he said. He said that before he even knew Frieza said that way. You know? So maybe he was watching on the sly. I, I picture that he was probably looking at his watch and says, this is the longest five minutes of my life. <laughs> yeah, really? Do I really have to keep watching this? <laughs> well, I, I, I watched it constantly as a kid. I mean, so yeah, you you guys inspired me. I mean, it, now I'm a 30-year-old guy who reviews Dragon Ball Z content on his YouTube. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> Fun, huh? Oh, yeah, it's great. I've made some good friends thanks to anime. I've I've made some iffy friends, you know, but mm-hmm. you know, I still think, you know, after everything, it's like the ties that bind us together. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, definitely. Kind of like Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dragon Ball Z is just I just became so so popular. It's pretty it, amazing, actually. It was a legendary series. I mean, yeah, yeah. So I'm, I, I am really happy that I got to be a part of it. Really, really thankful. Mm-hmm. Well, what are your thoughts on the ocean dub voice actors to DBZ? Well, you know, I, I really just only heard them when we were had to imitate them, but I thought they all sounded good. I mean. You know, and I, like I met some of them, they're really nice. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think they're all doing other things too. Yeah, they, they went on to other things. They they were yeah. all pretty. Good. I, you know, uh, like uh, I know Brian, he went into Death Note and stuff like that. So yeah, and that was a big series. Um. I've got to say, thank you for coming on again. It's, yeah. It's been a really. I, well, you know, I kind of feel like I know you. So this was just really easy to just 
come on and do this. I do feel like I know you because really, remember years and years ago, you sent me the little, um, the, the like little picture edits. collages, remember? And then you sent and them back to me in the mail and signed them for me. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I, I still have those too. Do you? I gave one to a friend uh, a few years back, but that, you know, because he wanted one really bad. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, I, I was, think I still have some of those prints too. And I've already handed them out like um, for a little extra thing at, at a con, you know, when it was a real nice person or a little kid or something. I like just give it as a little extra thing. So, yeah. And then the shirt and then the mug. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I felt like everybody was getting a shirt. It's like Frieza has to have a shirt, too. So <laughs> and a mug and a mug. And that mug is actually one of my favorite designs that I've made, too. <laughs> I like it. Do you, do you use it a lot or? I don't use it that much because I don't want to get your coffee stained. <laughs> uh. I actually, in my interview with Hillary Haig, uh, she told me, she's like, I don't ever use it because I don't want to break it. I'm like, well, if you break it, I'll make another. Oh, that's true. So if uh, if you ever do break it or get a coffee stain, I'll make you another one. I don't oh, mind. Okay. Oh, now I see some fun characters I did. <laughs> well, yeah. Where, where, where was that mug five minutes ago, right? Right. <laughs> Anyway, it's been a pleasure uh, having you on the show, though. It I, has. I really appreciate it. I do, too. I had fun. I mean, I'm glad to meet you in sort of person. <laughs> yeah, it, it, sort of. You get to see what I'm like. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a little neurotic. so. <laughs> That's all right. A lot, uh, a lot of creative of, people are. Uh, a lot of my friends compare me to Bill Murray. That's how I got the name on Twitter, Mr. Sarcasm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bill Murray, that's a good person to be uh, compared to, I think. I love Bill uh, Murray. My friends my friends say otherwise. They say I'm a pretty sarcastic, mean person. <laughs> oh, no. I just say... <laughs> like Frieza. Yes. <laughs> Frieza's a little sarcastic. Well, mm. quite a bit, actually. <laughs> I know. <laughs> like, Really? I was like, uh, just don't make him mad. He might just blow your house up. Yeah, really. Um, anything anyway, you want me to say? Is Frieza or anything? Uh, can you do the I am mighty speech? I am mighty and you're not that one? Just, yeah. Just that? Yeah. I am mighty and you are not. <laughs> that was great. Everyone, this is Linda, and this is our Lord Frieza. Long live Lord Frieza. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome, I should say. <laughs> yes, Lord Frieza. <laughs> if, if we keep going, I'll just do my Vegeta voice. I'm free. <laughs> I quit. <laughs> Fine. All I never right. know how to get out of these things. I never know uh, that. You can just say uh, uh, goodbye, everyone. Thank you for watching. <laughs> yeah. Bye, everyone. Thank you for watching. <laughs> All right. And oh, to meet you someday at a con. Yes. Bye bye. Hello. This is Linda Young, your Lord Freezer. And I demand you to subscribe to Tim's YouTube channel for more anime content. If you haven't, you're missing out. So go, what are you waiting for? We only have five minutes to do so. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>